This year, as the world commemorates the 100 years of the armistice of the First World War, it shouldn't go unnoted that we are also celebrating the World Day of Remembrance for road traffic victims for the 25th time. The direct survivors of that horrible war are now very few, but the destruction it caused and the memory of those fallen is still remembered and cherished. World leaders gathered together to celebrate and promise peace in these uncertain times. Designed to be celebrated one week after Armistice Day, the World Day of Remembrance purports to remind the world that another, less visible but equally wrecking catastrophe has been unraveling since years before the first gun started discharging in 1914. The continuing and recurring catastrophe is the one that has unnecess unnecessarily come hand in hand with models of mobility based on internal combustion vehicles. What the world's roads and streets have witnessed, the terrorist terrible stories they silently conserve mustn't be forgotten or deleted. Even if world leaders don't feel this celebration merits their presence and that this cause isn't worth their sad and sober faces, we must never forget that the horrors of the enduring civil war on the roads, of this silenced or silenced pandemic that for more than a century now has been tainting our collective right to life and dignity, are in all respects just as worth ending as the world wars and their victims worth the same respect and right for remembrance. Each year, tens of millions are severely injured on the roads and millions of families are torn apart by the death of a brother, a sister or friend who die in a crash. Each of these deaths is a story of a tragedy which could have been prevented. Rose have stories, that's the theme of this year's World Day of Remembrance. There is an opportunity to change the story of the roads they died on, to learn from the tragedies and to call for stronger leadership to prevent further crashes. Take the example of Tao who became a road safety ambassador among school children in Vietnam because a helmet saved her life. Or children at Christ Mission School in Ghana for whom a simple road of improvements including a sidewalk and pedestrian crossing have taken the stress out of their journey to school every day. This is the 25th World Day of Remembrance for road traffic victims. Each year we are saddened that a further 1.3 million lives have been lost. We hold the victims and their families in our hearts and memories and we also hold a hope that through our commemorations and through our actions, more lives will be saved and less families will grieve. Roads have stories, let's make more of them happy ones.